Welcome to Geth and Christian's channel, and this is a ladies' watch review tonight. And so I will start by reviewing all my partner's Longines watches, and this is a Longines watch review. The first watch will be this rather elegant La Grand Classique, one of Longines' most well-known designs, and this is a tiny jewellery piece for a lady with a smaller wrist or a lady who likes miniature watches. Of course it's a quartz piece with its 5mm case. It is a fully encrusted top Wesselton diamond studded bezel and of course 12 diamond studded hour markers. A beautiful multi-link bracelet which drapes in the most spectacular way with a twin deployant butterfly clasp fully milled out and I'm not reviewing this watch or any of the other three, two. It's uh, really just to review the, the Conquest tonight. But show and tell of a few different pieces. So here we are. Sapphire crystal, bit scratched. A stunning piece for any lady interested in sort of entry-level, mid-tier luxury watches. It is a lovely piece. And uh, she wears it well. The second one will be, and this is a really old one, but they still will make these. This is one of their top sellers. This is the uh, Dolce Vita, uh, the, the Sweet Life, I think it translates to in, in Italian. Longine Dolce Vita with a fine link, five link bracelet. Uh, of course, again, fully crusted up around the bezel with diamonds and on the handset. Again, quartz, beautiful white dial. These watches are still sold, and again, you get a non-deployant uh, butterfly clasp here. Uh, difficult to action, but there we go. Milled out. Uh, all exceptional timekeepers. Battery life is around five years. Great piece. The third one, and this is probably the most expensive watch here. This is the Longines Symphonette. This watch retailed at about three and a half thousand pounds. I mean, <laughs> for a tiny little piece like this. Look at it, compared to this megalith of the Doxa. Mother of Pearl dial. Uh, top Wesselton diamond encrusted bezel. I don't know the number. All indices diamond. Quartz again, but this is a, a solid gold, 18 karat gold case. And uh, an alligator strap, which is... Very nicely done with the Longines there, the winged hourglass. This watch, I think, Longines no longer make. Uh, we managed to pick this one up for about 15, 1600 pounds uh, on a deal. But what a great watch. I think it's my partner's favorite watch. It's extremely small. I mean, I'd like to be able to put it on my wrist, but unfortunately my wrists are a bit too big. To fit this on. This actually fits on my my partner's wrist, so smaller ladies and ladies who like jewellery pieces will appreciate a watch like this. Very nice. But the review tonight will be of this watch, which is my favourite actually, out of these, because it's a 300 meter water resistant watch and it's not a diver but it pretty much is. It is the Longines Conquest Moon Phase Ladies Quartz Watch, reference number L3.380.4.97.1. I know it's a long-winded nomenclature and the taxonomy is not saluted, but that's how Longines likes to referentize its watches, and that's how this one is named. But it is the Conquest, and they make, obviously you all know the men's versions. Uh, and it's a great, I love it, it's a great watch, I, if it was a bit bigger I'd wear it myself. Uh, it has a case diameter of 29.5 millimeters, so it's bigger than these little midgets, you know, these little tiny pieces. Um, it is a reasonable size for any lady uh, to wear, even if her wrists are not, you know, six inches or less. Sorry, uh, yes, so it has a thickness of 10 millimeters. It's a quartz watch. Lug to lug is 
which is the distance from the end of the case to the other end of the case, is 36 millimeters, and it also features fantastically female end links. So the end links are not sticking out, they are inward. So the bracelet will drape straight down, which will make it wear even smaller than its size uh, would normally do. It has a 15 millimeter lug width, so the bracelet is 15 millimeters, and it doesn't taper down in any way to its twin deployant uh, milled out butterfly clasp which is done exceptionally well as Longine always do. <laughs> there are no screws, I think it's pin and I think it's just pins actually, pin sleeves, friction pins and you will get a 300 meter water resistance or 1000 feet so quite an exceptional depth rating for such a tiny watch. It features the, it Longines falls under the Swatch group of, of, of watches, so it will feature an ETA movement inside, and it's the ETA quartz movement, the L296, which is a Longines sort of decorated or, or specialised movement, but it's an ETA movement, and this one <coughs> features less than one second per month deviation. Incredibly accurate and also an end-of-life indicator. I think the battery life's about five years, and you will feature 11 top Wesselton diamonds, VS-SI diamonds, and although they are extremely small, they are top quality diamonds. Uh, a screw-down crown, of course, to ensure that water resistance is featured. You will pop it out once to change the date and of course if you turn it the opposite direction you can action this lovely moon phase as you can see here as you turn it over the moon phase spins and the way to set the moon phase is quite simple but I'm not going to explain it A quick YouTube video will show you but it will show you the the position of the moon in the sky excellent very nice, ladies. You're going to love this watch. I swear to God, it's it really is. Great piece. Uh, it will feature a polished handset. There's no loom on this watch. Of course, the second hand is hitting the, hour, the uh, minute track exactly. And a lovely blue sunray dial is featured. That is hard to show. Well, it does show quite well. But in the daylight, it really does show off very well. Swiss made 300 meter watch. It's not a joke. It features a framed date window at 3 o'clock with uh, black numerals on a white date disc. Very nicely done. And the case back I can show you now with this great twin trigger twin trigger deployment and there's the winged hourglass, the Longines logo, it's very scratched up and you will have to deal with that. The case is, is fully polished, there are no brush surfaces here, it's all fully polished, the crown guards are polished, the bezel is polished, the top of the lugs are polished, the flanks are high polish, but, and of course the mid-links also polished and they scratch so easily, they're satinized uh, outer links, but Yes, you need to look after these. Screw down case back, and that is a real bonus of the watch. Look at that, in deep relief. EFC, the winged hourglass logo of Longines. Of course, EFC, a lot of people probably don't know what that means. It stands for Ernest Francillon and Company, uh, who was the nephew of a man named Auguste Agassiz, who in 1832 founded the Longines Watch Company, and um, he uh, registered the logo in, I think it was 1889, this winged hourglass. So Ernest Francillian and Company, if anyone has ever wondered what that means on Longines' case, that's what it means. Uh, 
and its winged hourglass logo is in fact, interestingly, the oldest unchanged active trademark registered with WIPO, which is the World Intellectual Property Organization. This is the, the oldest unchanged active trademark registered with the World in, uh, Intellectual Property Organization. So, quite quite a feat. And Holange is being one of the oldest brands, watch brands in the world. There's a lot of history to this brand. And although they, you know, a lot of people slag them off, they make excellent pieces, uh, extremely well made, top quality, at a reasonable price, you know, from sort of a thousand up to about four thousand pounds, you can really get some great, great watches from Longines. Les Longines, meaning, of course, in Swiss, French, or whatever it is, Long Meadows, which is derived from the place uh, where the watches were actually made initially. But yes, a signed crown. That winged hourglass there again. And it's a great, a great brand. Some great pieces. I just thought I'd show them off. You know, this isn't for my usual subscribers, but I, hopefully some, maybe your partners might like to watch this video, you guys. You know, I don't know. Lovely, lovely watches. They make automatics as well. A lot more expensive, but for these small, thin dress pieces, a lot of ladies don't want to be dealing with automatic watches. They're not interested in winding and setting. They're not like us guys. So, extremely accurate. Beautiful, well-made pieces. I hope you've enjoyed that. Just a quick one. Uh, and look at the size comparison. Yeah. With the 1500. And on that note, I will bid you farewell. Stay freaky. And never give up. Loom not even once.